Good afternoon, chickadees. Welcome back to another day. <clears throat> so this afternoon, I am going to start by cooking some food for Sandy. I'm going to take her down some lunch and I'll work out what I'm going to do when I get home. So I had asked her if what she wanted me to do. I told her I got some of these Gorton crispy battered fish portions and she said she wanted some of those. So I've got two of those cooking for her in the air fryer. And then she wanted me to go ahead and do a salad for the week. So I'm going to mix her some baby spinach and baby kale with some of the Asiago kale kit. And this week I'm going to put strawberries, purple cabbage, some dried figs, bell pepper, cherry tomatoes. I have some corn and artichoke hearts and some cheese. And so I'll put that together. And then I have a couple of things I picked up for her and a couple of servings of one of the soups that she likes. I'll get all that ready and I'll head down to her shortly. All right, so I'm all set to put lids on all of this and head down to Sandy's. So she has two containers of cheese tortellini soup, then her salad greens, cheese, cabbage, figs, tomatoes, artichoke hearts, strawberries, and corn. I'm also taking her the croutons and the dressing from that kit so she can have those if she wants. I've cooked her two fish fillets. I have some malt vinegar. I don't have any tartar sauce, so I'm gonna take her some tzatziki. She may have tartar sauce if she doesn't want the tzatziki. And then I just did a little salad for her today. And then I'm taking her the blue cheese dressing and the fig preserves that I got for her. So this is going to be Sandy's, I was gonna say lunch, but, um, the salad normally lasts her about four days and then she can put the soup in the freezer if she wants. All right, time for me some lunch. So last night on my Kitchen Adventures series, I cooked a whole squash in the Instant Pot and I have half of that left. So I'm gonna have, I'm actually gonna do a repeat of what I did last night because it was so good. So this is half of a spaghetti squash, which has already been cooked. And then I have some sandbar shrimp, some grape tomatoes, spinach and kale, some lemon pepper seasoning, and some Prego Alfredo sauce, which if you're not familiar with this, this is still only 99 cents a can. And it was 60 calories for a quarter of a cup with four grams of fat, four grams of carbs, and one gram of protein. And this is a really nice, thick, tasty Alfredo sauce. It's probably my favorite uh, of the store-bought ones. So what I'm going to do is heat up the spaghetti squash and then I'm just going to make a uh, shrimp Alfredo, put that in there. I have some salad that I made for me when I was doing Sandy's and yeah, I'll have that for brunch. <music> 